Milwaukee versus um, Memphis. They play um, this week. And uh, obviously, Memphis has been, you know, doing a great job this year. I'm genuinely surprised at how much they've actually been winning at this point in time. Marc Gasol has looked really good. But overall, everything from the Memphis Grizzlies has looked as if it's a team effort. Right now, they're currently 7-4, and four, sitting at the fourth place in the Eastern Conference. But for the Memphis Grizzlies, the reasons why, if we were doing an Are You a Believer or Not segment on them, I'm going to say no, I don't believe them, is because out of all the top eight teams in the Western Conference, the Minnesota, I'm sorry, the Memphis Grizzlies are only scoring a game um, 101 points per game and only giving up 98 points per game. But their point, I mean, but their plus minus differential is a plus three, but they're only giving up one on one a game. So I'm not really sure how much you can actually believe in them. I mean, if you get into a playoff series, right? My biggest thing whenever I'm watching the Warriors when or you the Cavs. Believe in them? What do you mean? Okay, like, look, I'll, I'll, I'll put it. I'll put it. In, I'll put it from this perspective. When I'm watching the Warriors game, within the last like 18 minutes of the game, going into like the third quarter, yeah. When it's like three minutes and six. I mean, when it's when it's the third quarter, six minutes left on the mark, and the Warriors usually have like either anywhere between 70 to, to 90 points. I say, I say to myself, the first person to get to 120 points in this game is going to win. And the first person to get to 100 points most likely is going to win. Even in the Rockets game, the Warriors were the first to 100, but the Rockets just had an amazing comeback, and they played an amazing game that way. James Harden was great, and they were able to steal that game out of Golden State. But normally when I'm watching the Warriors games, if it's before the six-minute mark or around the six-minute mark, Mm -hmm. the first team to score 100 points is going to win that game. With Memphis, like, I mean – if you only score 101 points per game, but you're giving up 98, when you get in the playoffs, you're going to hold the Houston Rockets, who are scoring 110 a game, to 98 points a game. You're going to hold the Golden State Warriors to 19 a game. I mean, who are currently sitting at 19 a game. You're going to hold the Minnesota Timberwolves to 180 a game. You're going to hold the Denver Nuggets to 106 a game. Like, what are you going to do? Legit, what are you gonna do? When you say believe in the Grizzlies, like I, what? Do, like, like what do you mean by like? I, I, I'm I just, just say saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. They're, gonna make they're the doing playoffs. well. This game with Milwaukee is a toss up, but they both play the same kind of game. way. I think I, I, I don't I, know if I, Memphis I, will win the game, especially now that the book, the none of the Bucks have Eric Bledsoe. But my concern with the Memphis game. Grizzlies going everywhere is if you only scoring one hundred and one point five points per game. You can't compete with the team scoring a lot of points per game. You can't. You with really can't. Of those teams. Even the Phoenix Suns are averaging 106 a game. Of course, you're taking the Memphis Grizzlies over the Suns you in can. a playoff series. But, no, look, listen, but if you, you look at – but well, wait a minute. If you look at the teams that are scoring under 100 points per game, they're only the Utah Jazz, the Sacramento Kings – I'm sorry, only – the yes, the Utah Jazz, the Sacramento Kings, and the Memphis Grizzlies are scoring one on one a game, and they are the, the 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 lowest after those teams. Utah Jazz, Kings, and the Mavericks, and the Grizzlies are right after them. They're not for real, so I'm not gonna take them over the Bucks. The Bucks adding Bledsoe is was a big thing for me because I need the Bucks to get to 105 to 110 points per game to think that they can beat the Cavs, That's and fair. Bledsoe gets them t- to me to that point. So That's I'm fair, taking I'm taking Milwaukee, but go ahead. That's fair, but but in a one game in a one game thing, I think that Mike Conley can outplay Eric Blesso, which pretty much is a big thing because Giannis is gonna do what Giannis is gonna do. You really can't stop Giannis from getting forty a night, but at the same time, you really don't need to because who's gonna start Marcus O? And again, Tyreek Evans is having a really good year. Tyreek Evans is averaging, if I'm not mistaken, I think he's averaging 18 points, damn near back to his rookie year average in Sacramento when he won rookie of the year. Yeah, Tyreek Tyree Evans, Evans at this current is point 17. is averaging 17.5. 17.5. Um, his rookie 5. year in Sacramento, he averaged 20.1 points per game in 72 games. He played 37 points. Two minutes per game. Excuse my burp. Uh, he um, shot 45.8% from the field and averaged 25% from the three. He averaged 17.5 off the bench and damn it, shooting 50%. But this is what you want from Tyree, though, right? You're right. And no, no, but, but as long as I've known you, what have you been saying about Tyree Evans? I don't know what I've been saying about Tyree you, Evans. As long as I've known you, we, when we talked about the Pelicans, the Pelicans have had Tyree Evans since 2013. You have, you have always said Tyree is a good player, but he's always hurt. 
He'll never be what he's supposed to be in New Orleans. He's a good player, but he ain't really developing his game. He can get you some buckets, but I don't, you can't believe in him. And that's essentially what he's been. But this no, season, listen. no, but it's, but this season he's been good for them. Go ahead. He's been basically. But what that's what Rudy, you used to say to he's me. He's been basically what Rudy Gay was before Rudy Gay left Memphis. Damn yeah. He's been basically what Rudy Gay was. He just can't shoot as good as Rudy Gay to be able to score as good as Rudy Gay. But he's just basically what Rudy Gay was before he left Memphis, which I don't have an issue with. I mean, Rudy so, Gay got up to yeah, Tyreek Evans. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. So I like. Memphis in this matchup. Now, we talking about a playoff series. That's something different. But in this matchup, I like them in this matchup. I think Blesso is still going to be getting adjusted. They play when? Um, Sometime later in the week. Like, anyway, I think Blesso is still going to be I've been trying to take the dates out because okay. obviously for our YouTube obviously, audience, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you're listening. I think Blesso is still going to be adjusting to, to the um team, and I think that they Mike play, Conley and they the play players. on Monday, actually. They play tomorrow. Yeah, see. I mean, I they think, play on Monday, so. Yeah, see, yeah. I think Blesso is still going to be a judge. Well, obviously, he's, I don't think he's going to be still adjusting to the team. And I think that Dale Port is one out. I think Memphis I'm taking, I'm taking the Bucks to win like 113 or 105.